Vincent van Gogh is a name that is well known around the world, and millions of people pay large sums of money to see and own his artwork. Some might look at his brilliant art and think that he was a happy man, but the little known truth about his life will surprise you. Hi, and welcome to Woe History. In today's video, we will be focusing on the popular Vincent van Gogh and some major events that happened in his life. Before we continue, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this. Also, click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos immediately. What are we waiting for? Let's get started! Van Gogh was a popular painter who was born into a slightly wealthy family. He was a calm and thoughtful child and began painting when he was very young. He worked as an art dealer as a young man and had to travel a lot, although he hated the selling of artworks. He was soon transferred to London, and after a girl rejected his love, his attitude to life changed. He started to avoid human connections and preferred to be alone, slipping into depression. His early works, which mostly consisted of still life and representations of peasant laborers, lacked the vibrant color that would eventually come to define his style. He gained a fresh perspective on still life and landscape as his work progressed. As he established a style that was fully realized when he was living in Arles in the south of France in 1888, his paintings got brighter. He expanded his subject matter during this time to include a number of olive trees, wheat fields, and sunflowers. However, his career in art was quite brief, lasting only 10 years between 1880 and 1890. During the first four years of this era, he devoted himself nearly entirely to drawings and watercolors while gaining technical proficiency. He worked hard and deliberately, but he soon realized that self-training was difficult and that he needed to seek the advice of more established artists. Late in 1881, he moved to The Hague to work with Anton Mauve, a Dutch landscape painter. He also went to museums and met other painters. He often had mental breakdowns and delusions, and while he was concerned about his mental stability, he frequently disregarded his physical health. He did not eat well, and he drank excessively. One day, Van Gogh ended his friendship with his friend Gauguin after a fight in which he slashed a portion of his own left ear with a razor in a moment of anger. He was hospitalized after the incident, but he returned home a fortnight later and resumed painting. He painted several images, producing a painting of himself with the bandaged ear and pipe, several still lifes, and La Berceuse. Some weeks later, he returned to the hospital with serious signs of mental illness. Fearful of losing his newly found capacity to paint more images, which he saw as what kept him from insanity, he begged to be briefly locked up in the institution at Saint-Rémy-de-Provence under medical supervision at the end of April 1889. Van Gogh stayed for a year, tormented by frequent episodes of his mental instability, switching between calmness and misery, and working irregularly. It was in this period that he painted some of his most famous works, which include The Starry Night, Garden of the Asylum, Cypresses, Olive Trees, Les Alpilles, Portraits of Doctors, and Interpretations of Rembrandt, Delacroix, and Millet. He struggled with having to paint from memory for long periods of time, since he was confined to the place, had no choice of themes, and realized that his creativity depended on direct observation. He worked to make his paintings more peaceful in Saint-Rémy by suppressing the previous summer's vibrant, sun-drenched colors. However, as he suppressed his emotions, he became more innovative in the use of drawing elements, establishing a style based on dynamic forms and a powerful use of lines which he often thought of as the same as color. His battle with misery continued, and on July 27, 1890, Van Gogh shot himself in the chest with a handgun. He died two days later from the injuries he sustained from the gunshot. Vincent Van Gogh is widely regarded as one of the finest Dutch painters of all time, largely due to his paintings from the last three years of his life. His work had a significant impact on the creation of much modern painting. His works were not popular when he was alive, as he was widely regarded as a lunatic and a failure, although certain collectors recognized the worth of his work. His popularity came only after his death, when he became a misunderstood genius in the minds of the public. 
His fame increased in the early 20th century when elements of his painting style were adopted by the Fauve and German Expressionists. His works achieved considerable critical and economic success over the next decades, and he is remembered as an influential but tragic painter whose unstable mentality shows the lifestyle of a tormented artist. Van Gogh's works are now among the most expensive paintings ever sold, and his legacy is honored by the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam, which houses the world's largest collection of his paintings and drawings. So even though his life was full of darkness, through his pain and suffering, he was able to bring light and joy to many others, which it does to this day. This concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you think of Van Gogh? Do you think his paintings were worth the hype or just mere consolation for his condition and death? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up button to let me know you enjoyed this video. Click on the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching Woe History. See you soon.